Soon as I'm done with this tutorial, I got to split. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I'm going to be giving you some of that split screen love you've been looking for, but before I get started I want to give a shout out to one of our subscribers, Bob's Pet Stop. Bob's Pet Stop is a YouTube channel that focuses on making dog training videos so you can train your dogs at home. So do him a favor, go on over to his site, check out some of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, go ahead and subscribe. Now that we're done with that, let's get down to business. I'm going to give you guys all the info you need to know on how to use that split screen feature in Pinnacle Studio 20 or Pinnacle Studio 20.5. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use split screen templates and how to create custom split screens. So let's get started off with templates, shall we? We're going to go over to the navigation bar. And then I'm going to go to content, montages and templates. And split screen templates. So now you see here that that tab is opened up. And I'm going to drag a template down into the timeline. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this template to preview it. And in this view, you can access your clips from the tab that you have open. So you can see here at the top. If you want to open up a new tab, you can come over here and click on the add new tab button and then you can import or go to your videos wherever they are. You can also go ahead and do a quick import here. If you don't want to open up a tab and you just want to import videos. So from this point, once you get your videos in the section over here on the left that you want to use for your split screen, you can drag your videos right into the preview. Or you can even drag a video clip down into one of the numbers below the preview window. So I'm going to click on OK because I'm going to show you another option that you have for adding videos. So at this point, it automatically opened up the sub editor. So I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to show you how to get to the sub editor from the timeline because you may just want to use the sub editor instead of double clicking on it and adding things into the preview because it's a pretty quick way to add videos besides going to the preview. So the other option for adding your videos is by right clicking on the clip, go to open in sub editor. And now we see the sub editor screen that we saw a moment ago. And here you can tell which one of these clips I have, or one of these tracks I have a video clip in. If I scroll down, you see that this one here is empty because it doesn't have anything in the preview thumbnail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag another clip right down onto this track that is empty. So this should be track one. And now you see the preview pre-filled with that clip. So now I actually have clips in all of the different sections of the template. But I don't like the placement of the videos. They're all not centered and I don't like that. So I want to change the position of each one of the clips. 
So what I'm gonna do first is left click on the clip in track one. And then I'm going to click on the PIP scale mode button. Now what happens is the section that is not transparent, you can't see multiple things. This is a section where this clip goes. So now I can either position it and move it to where I want, or I can also scale the size of the video and move it to where I want. So in order to scale it, you just place your cursor over one of the nodes and you drag it in the position or direction that you want to rescale the size of the video clip. So now I'm gonna drag it up here, back to the section it was in. And that's pretty good, I like it there. So now I'm just gonna click on the scale mode button again. And now you see it's moved in a position that looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the rest of these into position real quick and I'll be right back with you. So now that I have all of my clips, how I like them, I'm going to trim these videos down to size. So that they're all the same length. And now I'm going to click on OK. And now I have a lovely split screen for all of my videos. Love it. Love it. All right. Now we're done with the templates. So I'm going to show you how to create a custom split screen. So above the timeline, there is a split screen template creator icon. So we're going to click on that. Now here, you basically use shapes to create how many screens there will be. So right now I'm selected on the cursor. So this will give me the ability to move things around, stuff like that. I'm not gonna be adding any more shapes if I have cursor selected. But if I select a shape like a line, now what I can do is add a line somewhere. And I have several options here. I can go ahead and change the rotation. If I click on this, I'm gonna change it to 90 degrees and of course that'll make it a straight line, straight up and down. I can change the width of the line or the shape that I choose. Change the color. All kind of great stuff. So let's say I add another line here. And if I select the arrow, the cursor, I can rotate them. I can move them, adjust them how I want. If I choose another shape, uh, let's do this little crescent. Now let's say I wanted to make changes to the crescent, but I wanted the changes to apply to all of the shapes, the lines as well. I could just click on apply to all, and now any changes that I make, such as the width of the borders, I can change it to five, let's say and it changes everything. I wanna change the color to blue. Now it changes the color for all of them. So you can apply all of these changes how you want. And if you wanna save this as a template that you wanna use later, you can do save as. 
and just give it a name and click on save and then you would click on OK you don't have to save the template if you don't want to save it if you just click on OK it's gonna just send you back to the sub editor and here we are in the sub editor and now you can go ahead and add clips or make changes trim it whatever you want from here to change the the size of or the scale or the position of the clips using PIP scale all the things I already showed you you can do right here and then when you're done just click on OK and you've created your own original split screen all right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you're a subscriber to Pinnacle Studio Pro and you want to get a shout out for your channel like Bob's Pet Stop did, then make sure that you go to the video description and click on the shout out link. Also, if you got any tutorial requests, you can also go to the video description and click on the tutorial request link to go ahead and fill out those forms to go ahead and make your official tutorial request. I do not take tutorial requests in the comment section. But if you want to, you can go ahead and chop it up with me, ask me questions about the software, things like that in the comment section. And if you can hazme un favor, por favor, click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, lets other people know that the content in these videos is good. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.